The Scherer equation, in X-ray diffraction and crystallography, is a formula that relates the size of submicrometer particles, or crystallides, in a solid to the broadening of a peak in a diffraction pattern. It is named after Paul Scherer. It is used in the determination of size of particles of crystals in the form of powder. The Scherer equation can be written as where i is the mean size of the ordered domains, which may be smaller or equal to the grain size. k is a dimensionless shape factor, with a value close to unity. The shape factor has a typical value of about 0.9, but varies with the actual shape of the crystallite. i is the X-ray wavelength. i squared is the line broadening at half the maximum intensity, after subtracting the instrumental line broadening, in radians. This quantity is also sometimes denoted as I, 2I. I is the Bragg angle. Applicability, the Scherer equation is limited to nanoscale particles. It is not applicable to grains larger than about 0.1 to 0.2 I 1 quarter M, which precludes those observed in most metallographic and ceramographic microstructures. It is important to realize that the Scherer formula provides a lower bound on the particle size. The reason for this is that a variety of factors can contribute to the width of a diffraction peak besides instrumental effects and crystallite size. The most important of these are usually inhomogeneous strain and crystal lattice imperfections. The following sources of peak broadening are listed in reference, dislocations, stacking faults, twinning, microstresses, grain boundaries, sub-boundaries, coherency strain, chemical heterogeneities, and crystallite smallness. If all of these other contributions to the peak width were zero, then the peak width would be determined solely by the crystallite size and a Scherer formula would apply. If the other contributions to the width are non-zero, then the crystallite size can be larger than that predicted by the Scherer formula, with the extra peak width coming from the other factors. The concept of crystallinity can be used to collectively describe the effect of crystal size and imperfections on peak broadening. Further reading, BD Cullity and Essa Stock, Elements of X-ray Diffraction, 3rd ed., Prentice Hall Inc., 2001, p. 167-171, ISBN 0-201-61091-4. R. Jenkins and R. L. Snyder, Introduction to X-ray Powder Diffractometry, John Wiley and Sons Inc., 1996, p. 89-91. ISBN 0-471-51339-3. H.P. Klug and L.E. Alexander, X-ray Diffraction Procedures, 2nd ed., John Wiley & Sons Inc., 1974, p. 687-703, ISBN 978-0-471-49369-4. B.E. Warren, X-ray Diffraction, Addison Wesley Publishing, Colorado, 1969, p. 251-254, ISBN 0-201-08524-0. References